guys hey guys hey guys look for great here again with another episode of subnautica um no wait it's a scrap mechanic but i'm building the cyclops that was dramatic yeah so we are underwater again and i have built a section i know it's not the whole thing it's one piece at a time but i'm it's slow progress because i'm trying to make it as accurate to the actual cyclops as i can in this game and it's it's coming out awesome so cyclops has a lot of moving parts which which i like i like moving parts yes so what moving parts you ask well these uh doors open up right to accept the sea moth <laughs> the sea moth that i made last time is totally in here guys and it totally works check this out so oh oh wait oh crap yeah this way uh, uh, get, get through the door. Come on, dwarf. Get. Get. Oh, jeez. Uh, get. There you go. I'm good. <laughs> so, since it's not completely complete yet, I've just got uh, toilets like that to get up and down through the different levels. So, yes, and here is the main floor. I love it. I love it. And the sea moth or shrimp, if you're watching my Subnautica episodes. The shrimp is totally in here. And we're not bad with the FPS. Not too, too bad. It, it bounces between maybe 50 at the lowest to like 120 on my computer. So that's pretty good. But of course, that's this is a completely loose thing being held by something else. And having two um, different builds rubbing up against each other, especially one inside the other, usually doesn't work so well. But... This thing totally works. Want to drop it? So let's let's close this first. There you go. And release. There he goes. Blurp. And then it will automatically close right back up. Haha! <laughs> but wait, there's more. It automatically opens too, and I am using the sensors with the color on them well, on them with the color mode i am starting to use that because uh, i figured out uh maybe it would be a good thing to use it would be pretty cool pretty cool all right so oh 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 talk on my back yeah um i forgot to show something last time i completely forgot that the little seamoth i made has the compartment on the side so you can load in the different mods to it uh it's just a little thing it's just visual but it's cool. I completely forgot to show you that. The modifications, the additional plugins that you can give and, you know, get, you know, better depth and stuff like that. It's on here. There it is. There it is. Okay. Close that. That's done. I definitely want to thank you guys for showing up. For liking my videos and all that kind of stuff. If you like what you're seeing, make sure you hit that thumbs up button for more scrap mechanic goodness and more subnautica and more everything. And don't forget, I have a Discord link in the description. I'm shaking my head like I'm talking to you. Right? You. Hey, you in the back. I have a Discord. Yeah, okay. We get in. We close it. It drives just like before. Let's zoom out a little bit. So, number one is the door. Number two is lights. Yay, lights. Three is your hover. If you position your hands on uh six seven eight and nine you'll be able to do everything you want actually i'm gonna keep on just letting it go back slowly and once we trip that sensor bloop, there we go it automatically comes out and opens up so we can tip down a little bit and let's tip back oh now number zero or ten sorry is those little things these little babies right here hey hey no hiding no hiding i'm gonna turn this off yeah yeah so this is the one addition i've ad i've made to this so you can link up with the cyclops that is what makes it possible because of course inside zoom in not that far inside is black and on the outside it's white so when the sensor notices the change from white to black because there's going to be sensors facing down onto those 
that's what triggers the whole thing so it is completely automatic very very cool so let's 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 do this thing let's do it all right now we're perfectly lined up let's just get oh okay get in there get in there what, what are we caught on now my antenna There we go. And... There we go. Turn off the thrusters. The Cyclops accepts us perfectly. Let's open this door. Beep, beep. And you jump out. Ha <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, when you are in here, let me zoom in a little bit. There you go. When you're in here, you can see that uh, the number zero is still pushed. Undo that. Now you can release. With the door open or without. Um, well, you kind of need the door open because right now, anyway, I might figure something else out. Uh, but right for now, you kind of, you got to be in it and push this button. Then you can jump in the seat and close the door. And then it just drops you off. And we can fly away. Yay. Drop it. And that just closes up all by itself. So that is the first piece of the Cyclops, guys. It's going to be a nice short episode. I just wanted to show you my progress. Keep everyone uh, apprised of what's going on. And I really love the way this is coming out so far. It's going to be so freaking big. I'm building it to scale. I mean, as best to scale as I can in Scrap Mechanic. But this thing looks so good so far. I love this way. I love the way it came out. Look. No, it's Ema. And you can just... Woo! I might put a door on that. I still have to figure some stuff out. But this is so good so far. I hope you like it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that like button. If you really like what you saw, make sure to subscribe. Yes, yes, and hit the little bell so you get notifications when I get new videos out. I know I've been, I've had a, a bunch of new people. Thank you so much for all the new people, all the people who liked Hot Rod. All the people who like that build are starting to join in and say hi and everything. Hi. Thanks for joining us. It's going to be great. Have a good day. Have a good night. I love you. Go bye. Here we go! Oh! Oh, 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 missed the tree, missed the tree, missed the tree! Oh, oh, oh.